Hello and welcome to a sort of a workflow tutorial slash tips and tricks for the Alt-Tab Pixel plugin. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to turn any model that you've imported or made yourself into uh, aesthetic pixel art with the use of this plugin. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is click on the setup project button. Uh, this sets up your blend file to automatically start rendering pixel art. You get this pop-up, it's all set up. Note you get this no outline collection and then any object, you don't want the outline to be shown on the final render, you just move that specific object into the no outline collection. So the next thing you want to do is basically import a camera. So you can use one of our isometric cameras uh, that we've pre-made for this add-on, or you can just use your own. It doesn't really matter, to be honest, it's uh, all up to you. I find these isometric cameras to be pretty good for uh, pixel art uh, because the general aesthetic of pixel art uh, gets across very much better. So let me just... Um, scale this guy up a bit so these isometric cameras are actually orthographic cameras so the way they work is a bit different than your regular camera in blender we've mapped these controls so you can shift it uh, left and right you can shift it up and down uh, and then you can you also have these orthographic scale which is basically the zoom level that's everything you need to know about these cameras two things to note before starting to use the pixel materials on our object is that one as of version 1.0 you, you're actually not able to rename your objects after you've added the pixel material to them. So I strongly advise you name your uh, objects in the scene before uh, starting the pixel material application. The second thing before using the pixel materials is that I would strongly recommend joining all the objects uh, that would share the same color in the final render together. So for example, these two clickers and the rim uh, share the color or I want them to share the color with the outer keys in the final render so therefore I'm gonna join them into one object right as you can see I've already joined the clickers and the rim but uh, the keys are very much one object okay so you select the keys you go into edit mode and then if you just hover over the parts you want to select and press L it basically selects everything that's linked to that um, face uh, vertex or edge depending on which mode you are so you, you can just basically select all the objects you want press P separate them into another object and then uh, you can select the object we just created uh, shift click on the thing on the clickers and then press ctrl J joining them essentially into these clicks and then uh, just for the sake of this video I'm gonna name this gray for now okay so we basically come to the point where we can start using the pixel materials and really having some fun let's start with the case so select the case click on the use pixel material and as you can see this case uh, got this really cool tune shader effect on it. All of the pixel materials react to lighting uh, around it. So we've got this sun in the scene. And as you can see, the sun basically dictates uh, how your object is going to be shaded. Let's see what the panel of the material control is all about. So we got the uh, shade smooth and shade flat. So this is really a round object. So it's not gonna be that drastic of an effect, but uh, in certain cases you might wanna shade it smooth or shade it flat depending on your needs. Then we have the lighting threshold. This basically limits how much shadow or how much highlights or midtones there are on uh, a particular material. So just play around with these settings, no, no real science here. And then we have the light color, the shadow color and the outline color. So let's start painting our little case. I'm gonna go for like a green teal type of, uh, of a computer. Uh, so we got your light color, your dark color, your, and then the middle one just gets interpolated between the two. And then the outline color for the most nice looking pixel art, I find just a, a darker shade of the shadow value uh, does the trick. Yes, now we can just go and do this a bunch of times, right, for each and every object in your scene. Okay, so I've basically shaded everything except for the screen because this is where I want to show you the textured pixel materials. So if you go on ahead and use the pixel material on the screen as well, uh, you'll notice this use image texture button right here. So if you go ahead and click it, 
you can basically import whatever texture you want into this. So let me just, I prepared this little demo file right here. So when it comes to textured materials, your best friend is really the UV editor. You find the texture you want it to place in the screen. Uh, you tab into the uh, image mode, just align your object to the thing you want to see, right? And then uh, you might be asking like, why is it not showing up? Uh, these uh, has to do with the lighting threshold, right? So if we just start to play around with the lighting threshold, we should be able to see an image clearing up, right? And then uh, let's bring in some highlights into it. If you, for whatever reason, want to stop using the textured material, you can just uh, click on the stop using the textured material and it goes back to the uh, pixel material we've created earlier right and then you can just basically seamlessly swap between the two so that's uh, one feature of it okay once you're satisfied with the materials the camera and the lighting you can go ahead and render out your pixel art and enjoy the aesthetics this is basically everything you need to know about the Altep pixel workflow hope everything was understandable and if not you can always join our discord ask questions there so yeah Hope you found this video educational and see you in another one. Goodbye. Psych, I forgot to mention another part of the plugin that's located in the edit mode. So here we have just a regular cube using a pixel material and this is how it would render out as. Um, but let's say we want to turn this into something that resembles like a Minecraft tree trunk block, you know, so we want some nice wooden texture on top. Okay, so how I would go about doing this using the pixel add-on is I would go to the edit mode, select a face I want to be using a different material and right here we have assign new pixel material uh, note this only works for objects that already have a pixel material assigned to them so you click on it there's no confirmation or everything uh, don't worry it worked so you go back as you can see we now have two material slots the one we just created and the previous one uh, one thing to note remember you can't rename these as of version 1.0 uh, I am working on a patch and uh, you will be able to rename these uh, when the second version comes out. But okay, so we select this one, we can use the, an image texture, um, basically find the one we want, again UV unwrap it, scale it up a bit, and you can see how this now starts resembling a wooden texture that you would maybe find in Minecraft or something like that. That's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to say. Goodbye for real now.